Welcome to MMA Underground, brought to you by the Yankee and the Brit. It's your boy Jay. I'm back at you with UFC 260 right around the corner. And I want to hit you guys with some betting lines in case you're out there and you want to put some money on the fight. Once again, I get my numbers from FanDuel. You can use DraftKings, whoever else is out there. Check them out, MGM Bet. Wherever you're from, if you're putting money on the fight, whichever platform you use, you'll be fine. I just wanted to go over a couple betting lines and where you could make some money if you enjoy putting a little cash on the fight to make it more exciting. So first, I want to start with the woodley Lequay fight. Now, this isn't the best line unless you're a Woodley guy. Now, if you really believe Woodley's going to win, this is one of those fights where... Where Woodley is plus 205. Now, I don't think Woodley's going to win. I got LeKay in this fight, which he is minus 260. So, to win $100, if I was going to bet, I would have to bet 260. But now, if you're a Woodley fan, and you think Woodley's going to win this fight, you bet 100 to win 205. That's a come up. That's a good bet. If you really think that Woodley's going to win this fight and you're on Woodley, then that's the fight to go with. I would stay away from betting this fight, but I wanted to bring that to you because that's one, if you are a fan of Woodley, you can make some money on this fight. The next fight I wanted to talk to you about, though, is my boy Sugar Sean O'Malley. I'm so excited he's back in the ring. First of all, my man, you took that L because you got injured, so just accept that L. It's okay. I know you still haven't kind of wrapped your head around the fact that you lost over an injury, but bro, it's fine. Just don't let it get in your head. This is my guy. This is actually a fight where I'm willing to bet way more than I'm going to win because I'm so confident O'Malley's going to win this fight. So, Alameda is plus 250. So, if you think he's going to beat O'Malley, you throw down 100 bucks, you're going to win 250. For me, I'm going to have to put down 325 on O'Malley just to win 100. But in the gambling world, a lot of times, if you want the safe bet to make that money, you got to put up more than you're going to win because the long shots rarely hit, and that's why Vegas always comes ahead because people like to bet on the long shot. People like to make that quick cash, and that's always when it comes to gambling, not the best way to go about it. Sometimes you got to bet more than you win because it's a safer bet. So for me... Plus, I'm a huge fan, which is probably a bad idea when gambling to, you know, go with your fa or that use your fandom to place bets. But I also believe, as an MMA fan, that O'Malley is going to win this fight and he should win it handily. So I'm willing to put down $325 to win that hundred. All right, but to the main event, and this is the one that fucks me up, guys. I'm not even going to lie. Stipe's the underdog. Yeah. I'm going to repeat that. Stipe is the underdog. The most accomplished heavyweight in UFC history is an underdog. And now you can argue between yourselves if Stipe is the greatest heavyweight of all time, but there is no argument that he is the most accomplished. And I truly believe the only way Stipe loses this fight is if Francis Ngannou catches him. Because Francis throws like you got hit by a dump truck. I'm really excited for this fight. I really think it'll it's going to be different than the first time around. Both fighters are different fighters. Francis has got a lot more experience. And I think Francis was overwhelmed by the moment the last time they fought. But with that said, Francis is the favorite. So if you think Francis is going to win, he's minus 128. So you got to put down $128 just to win 100 Which ain't bad if you think... That your boy's going to win. But for me, I got Stipe. Like I said, the only way I think Stipe Miocic loses this fight is if Francis catches him. Because that dude, like I said, hits like a fucking tank. But I think Stipe's going to control the fight. I think Stipe's going to stay in close. I think Stipe's going to mitigate Francis's power. And I think Stipe's just going to outwork him. And talent-wise, as a wrestler and a ground fighter, Francis ain't even fucking close to Stipe. And don't get it twisted, Stipe's going to be the smaller guy, but he can throw those things. So, to win money on Stipe, you bet 100 to win 104, which is almost an even bet. But the fact that Francis is favored just fucking blows my mind. It really does. Either Vegas really believes Francis is going to win, or a lot of people bet this fight and Vegas is moving the lines so that they don't eat too much money 
in a loss either way. But for my money, I say bet Stipe, the plus 104. You put down 100 to win 100. I think this is going to be a great card. I'm super excited for UFC 260. And I know you guys hear me talk a lot of shit about how excited I am for every UFC card. And it's the truth. I love mixed martial arts. I've said it in a video before. I will watch two guys fight in a grocery store. It doesn't matter. They throw down in the parking lot of church. I'm going to check it out. If we're at a gas station and two chicks decide that it's time to fight, I'm watching. But when it comes to MMA, I'm really into the um, skill level of these guys, and it blows me away. Thank you for watching. And you guys, if you're hardcore MMA fans, go over to the Yankee and the Brit on YouTube, Facebook, Google, Spotify, all those platforms. We have the MMA Underground. I had just dropped a video with my boy Maddie with Street Beefs, West Coast Champion, Shinigami. Today, we're dropping Street Beef Scrapyard with Fire Chicken. He's going to explain what's going on with Street Beef Scrapyard, how they became part of Street Beefs, and their upcoming event for this weekend. Also, I did we did an interview with... Street Beef's OG chapter, the East Coast, heavyweight champion, Big Smile, which I'll be dropping tomorrow. So you guys look for that. It's MMA Underground presented by the Yankee and the Brit. You can find that all on our Yankee and the Brit YouTube websites. If you're into football or whatever else, we got those videos too. It's a sports channel with me and my boy, Maddie from over across the pond in England. But I'm coming at you with some betting lines for UFC 260, but I wanted to let you know what we got going on with MMA Underground presented to you by the Yankee and the Brit. All right, guys, thanks for checking us out. Sorry I didn't get a chance to do a preview of 260. We've been doing a lot of interviews this week, so I didn't have time, but I still wanted to come back at you with three betting lines that you might be interested in, depending on who you, thinks are gonna, who you think are gonna win the fight. Once again, I use FanDuel. You might be able to find a different promotion or a better promotion with MGM Bets or DraftKings, whichever one you use. But I hope this was help. I hope you enjoy the videos, and I hope if you bet you make a lot of money. All right, guys, thanks for checking me out. I can't wait to get back at you with my boy, Maddie, the Yankee and the Brit. We did some interviews, like I said. One world, one love. Deuces.